In this lesson, we're going to run through sending an email to your lead. Now, just one thing to keep in mind is that Sprout manages your outgoing emails. So you can go into Sprout, you can send emails to a contact, to a lead, to a shoot, to gallery visitors, so on and so forth. You can also do email marketing in Sprout that we're gonna talk about in a future lesson. But Sprout does not receive your email coming in. So when your client replies to the email, it doesn't come into Sprout. You're still gonna want to use your email client for that, whether it be Google Mail, Mac OS Mail, Outlook, Hotmail, Yahoo, or whatever email provider you use. We're not trying to replicate your email service provider, but instead Sprout is your CRM where you manage your clients and where you manage all of your outgoing email. So I have a lead pulled up here, the same Heath and Olive wedding lead that we've been talking about and working with together so far. And there's a few different ways that you can send an email. I'm gonna do the easiest one to start. I'm gonna click the add button up here and I'm going to click send email. Now by default, this will open up the send email modal for this specific lead. There's a few things that we're gonna tour through in this modal here. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna tour through this little plus button here. This is where you can add specific people or specific clients or contacts from this lead into this email. Now this lead is set up to be pretty simple. I only have one contact added in here. So none of these are really gonna make sense, but if you did want to use client roles and add more than one client or contact to a lead or to a shoot, you can use these uh, in a really flexible way. Other option is obviously you can click search to go ahead and add another contact to this particular email. By default, the carbon copy and the blind carbon copy fields are hidden, but if you wanna click that, then you can go ahead and add the CC or the BCC field here. And again, similar thing, you can use this ad recipient meow here uh, to open that up and send information or choose a recipient for that. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and click the plus button here again to specify the recipients or just go ahead and type in an email here. Moving on, we have the from address. This is just showing you who it's coming from. If you have multiple users on your account, you will be able to choose what user this email is coming from and then which of their email addresses is going to be used here. But for now, again, this account is set up to be pretty simple. So it's just gonna to indicate to you who that person is. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually just gonna show you how to remove a recipient. So I'm gonna click remove and that's how simple it is to remove a recipient. Next down here, we have the subject line and then we have the contents of the body as well as a plain or a pretty text uh, or a pretty email toggle here. That's similar to, if you remember back to the email template lesson that we walked through together, very similar thing there. And in fact, speaking of email templates, this is where you can now click the apply template button and choose any of the templates that you've written. If you remember, we set up this wedding inquiry template together. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And again, if you remember how we had that set up, we had the client first name as a variable and we had the shoot date here as a var variable and we had the photographer name as a variable. So now that we're using it for an actual client, you can see how email templates can become so powerful because it'll now replace all of those variables with the appropriate information for this specific lead. Now the other option is if you want to type out anything else, for example, you inquired on and you wanna add in some other variables, you can go ahead and click the variable button there. Again, same as how you would in the email template modal, it's just now you're using it for this specific client. So I can go ahead and click shoot, and maybe I wanna add inquiry date. I don't know why I would wanna do that there, but I'm just kinda of illustrating there that kinda of put in the inquiry date right here so that I have that there. If you wanna use a variable specific to this here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now, one of the things that you're probably seeing in the bottom right corner here is Grammarly. I have Grammarly installed as a plugin in my browser. And so the um, the form here to edit all of your text does work well with Grammarly. So if you do want to use a tool like Grammarly to help with your spelling and your grammar and your tone and your language, you certainly can and it will work really well for you. Down over here, we have the attached file. So if you wanna upload a file to attach here, you can. Uh, obviously the cancel button to close out of this modal, the send now button to send the email, or you can click this and save it as a draft to come back to later, or you can actually schedule it to be sent later. And that's kind of a quick tour through this send email modal. I'm gonna go ahead and click X to cancel this. 
So while you're in here, you can click the emails section here. This is another way to send this. You can click add new from here to send an email. And again, you have the exact same options that you had in the previous step. It's just now you got there from a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and click close here and then close without saving there. I'm gonna go back up into the overview section here and go into one more way that you can send an email from a lead. If I open up the contact, I now have all of Kinder's the contact. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. This is the contact all of Kinder's. This is not the lead. Heath and Olive Wedding. The different thing, all of Kinder's, the contact can be on multiple leads, multiple shoots, multiple orders. So right now I'm looking at the contact, the person, all of Kinder's, not the lead, Heath and Olive Wedding. That being said, if I wanted just to email this specific person, I can click this little button right here and click send email. And from there, it's going to open up the email modal with an email just to this contact. However, keep in mind that email will not show up in the list page for this specific lead because I'm sending the email to the person, not necessarily in the lead. So that's just like a small distinction, but another way that you can send emails to your contacts if you don't need it to be necessarily attached to the lead. And that's a quick tour through how you can go ahead and set up emails and send emails to your clients and to your leads within Sprout Studio.